Well, hello. Welcome to Izzy Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do your weekly love prediction reading for Libra for October 28th through November 3rd. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it. Leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled. I'm always honored and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my peaceful calm fun loving kind loyal libra show me spirit guides what's going on with my loving libras let's see libras what you got going on show me spirit guides nine of swords seven of wands Four of Wands, Six of Pentacles, and a Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. Well, I'm, I'm going to say this to you, Libra. I think you've chosen someone. And I really do. I, I think that you chose them. They chose you. However it's gone. There is someone in your love space that you have chosen. Now, Now I'm going to say next to this nine of swords. First of all, let's see. Leading off your readings is nine of swords. You have worried about this. You have contemplated this. I mean, Libras can stay in their head, in their, in their head space. This person has been in your head space. This person also could have caused you a few problems here and there. When I say a few problems, you could have been up at night sometimes not knowing what to do, which way to go. Uh, to stay with them or to, to leave them or whatever. It doesn't matter. That's where that's where you have been. And sometimes when we're like that, we tell other people. And other people tend to make their own judgments. And, and that's okay. We're human. We're human. We need to talk to someone let them know. But whomever this person is, he's giving you the blues sometimes. I'm just going to be very honest. That nine of swords means he's giving you the blues. And when I say the blues, he's done some things that might not have been 100% on point. And, you know, people have told you, why are you with him? Why do you stay with him? You know, you know the whole scenario, but only you know why you stay with him. Only you know. No one else. And um, this Nine of Swords is here, though. But here's this um, Seven of Wands. You're standing up for this relationship. You're standing up for this relationship because they don't know everything about him. They only know the parts that you tell them. They don't know everything about him, but there is something that connects you with him. In the middle of the reading is the Four of Wands, and the Four of Wands is all is about um, having a, a, a possibly an, a, a, a celebration, a marriage. Um, Four of Wands is having a commitment, being together, deciding things together, and you guys have decided. You've decided because guess what? Out of all of this heart, now I'm not even say heartache. Out of all of this mental energy that he's put you through, because the source energy is mental. Out of all of this mental energy, all of the times you had to stay up, all the times you felt like he wasn't there for you or whatever it was. I mean, you know, come on, the nine of swords could be anything. It could be you two just tripping. I'm just going to be honest. But that nine of swords just means you have stood up at night and wondered about if this is the type of relationship. You know, what do I do? He's giving you sometimes nightmares because you're not quite sure. Because of some of the things that he, he was doing. But guess what? He's come together now. It's come together. This relationship has evolved. It has come together. Because here's the Six of Pentacles. This man is kind and loving and giving and generous and thoughtful. That Six of Pentacles? He's a thoughtful man. He's a giving man. He's a loving man. Yeah, you might have had issues with him in the beginning. But I don't see that now. You guys have evolved. You've grown. And what tells me more than anything, this is a destined relationship because that will of fortune is there. That will of fortune is there. No matter all of this is gone, I think this will of fortune lets me know this is good karma. You and this man together is good. This is good, not bad. This is not bad. This is a good relationship. He's, he's kind and loving. He's a, it's, it's one of those relationships where 
you can tell him things. He can tell you things. I'm not saying in the beginning it might have, might have been shaky, but right now it's on point. Give me three to five minutes. Let me clarify the reading. I'm going to see what additional information the spirit guys want you to know. What additional information do, does the spirit guys want you to know? Sit back, relax. Show me, spirit guys, what additional information do you want um, my Libras to know about this relationship? Why is this nine of swords here? Show me, spirit guys. Why is the nine of swords here? Clarify it for me. Queen of Cups? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You might have thought you were getting taken advantage of in the beginning because your heart space is so kind. Because you're so kind and loving and giving. But you're not. He, he knew. He knew. And I think that's what your worry was, that you were getting taken advantage of. But you weren't. You were not. He knew what you were. He knows who you are, what you are, what you bring. He understands that. That queen of cups. You are his queen of cups. You are his ride or die. You've been there for him. So let's see why the seven of wands is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is the seven of wands here? Knight of swords. Knight of swords. <laughs> You've been courageous, brave. You're, you're very, definitely being courageous and brave now because you're standing up for this relationship. When, all, when everybody else thought it was a mess, you're standing up for it. You're being courageous and brave. That Knight of Swords, you're, you definitely are. You also might have thought with this Knight of Swords that you were moving just a little bit too fast before, but I don't think so. Because Knight of Swords can mean reckless too sometimes. But I, I don't think so. I think you might have felt that or other people might have felt like that because this relationship could have moved quickly. But right now you're courageous and brave and standing up for the relationship. When everybody else thought it, was, it wasn't going to work, it's working. So let's see. Why is it Four of Wands here? Show me Spirit Guides. When people thought you weren't going to make it, you're making it. They thought you weren't, though. Let's see. Why is this four of wands here? Show me spirit, guys. Page of cups. Look at that. Page of cups. Yeah, this love is working. Page of cups can also be a younger person, it, um, it, you know, but page of cups is someone that may be a little different, too. and Maybe that was it. Um, perhaps could be a different ethnicity, different could be so many could be different. Maybe you guys want somebody's white collar, somebody's blue collar came from two different types of families, two different cultures. But whatever the page of cups is, the page of cups is also fun. The page of cups is also young, young. So this could be a, a, a young person or a younger person than you. But yet and still it's over the four of wands and the four of wands means he wants to come in and he wants to be with you. Um, four of Wands is about family. It's about celebration. And I do believe he wants to be with you. He wants to be with you as well. Let's see why the Six of Pentacles is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Show me spirit guides. Knight of Pentacles. So with the Six of Pentacles, I told you this relationship has been going for a while. Knight of Pentacles, Pentacles is a goal, a mission. Everybody thought you weren't going to make it, but you're making it. They all thought that you weren't going to make it, but you're making it. That Knight of Pentacles is over the Six of Pentacles. He's kind, he's loving, he's he's generous, and you are to him as well. That's It's been a long time coming, but it has evolved. This relationship has evolved. It has evolved. Let's see why the Wheel of Fortune is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Ace of Swords. Yeah, it's the truth, baby. Clarity. Ace of Swords is it's the truth. It's the truth. It's over the wheel of fortune. Yeah, it's it's all you know now. You know now. Everybody thought you weren't gonna make it. They thought you weren't gonna make it. But look at you making it. Look at you guys. You guys are moving. You guys have formed a relationship. A relationship. And you know it's the truth. And this is a destined relationship with this Wheel of Fortune here. Let's start at the very beginning, Nine of Swords. There's some issues that happened in the beginning of this relationship. Some stuff that was going on. You know, you were a Queen of Cups because this Queen of Cups is someone that's ride or die. Got a heart of gold. Would do whatever. Is, is there for somebody. Even sometimes when they don't deserve the love that they you give the love. Sometimes the Queen of Cups can get taken advantage of. And those are some of the things that you were thinking about at the beginning. Over this Nine of Swords, he, you were up at night sometimes, had nightmares, because guess what? 
It was rocky. It was rocky in the beginning. But here's the seven of wands. You're standing up for this relationship now. Knight of Swords, you're being courageous and brave. You're standing up for it. You're standing up for this relationship. Because the four of wands. He's got a can of act right. Whatever was happening in the beginning, it has changed. Because also it's over the page of cups. He could be younger than you. Page of Cups, he could be culturally different than you. He could be a different back now. He could be white. You could be black. He could be black. You could be white. Whatever. Here is someone that's different. But yet there's grand, there's great love here because the Six of Pentacles is here. He's kind. He's giving. He's generous. He's thoughtful. People didn't know it. They, they thought you weren't going to make it. They thought you weren't going to make it because of the beginning. The beginning stages, they thought you weren't going to make it, but you are. Well, it's over that Nine of Pentacles, too. Nine of Pentacles is over the Six of Pentacles. The reason why this relationship kept going and the reason why it has evolved, has, has evolved is because you were both kind, give, giving, generous. People didn't know that part of him. He was always thoughtful. He was always uh, generous and kind and loving to you. No matter what, he might have made some mistakes, but he was always there. He was always that person. It might have taken a while. But now you're at the point because here's this will of fortune. This is a destined relationship. It was destined to be. It was destined to be because the Ace of Swords is all about the truth. It's all about the truth. And absolutely, Ace of Swords is clarity. You can see clearly now. He can too. And it's over the will of fortune. It's about it's a destined relationship. It was meant to be. It was meant to be. They thought you weren't going to make it, but you did. So let's see. Show me oracles. Let's see what my oracles have to say. What do my oracles have to say? Let's see. Oh, I'm going to pull this. I romance. And I think he's good at romancing you. Absolutely. I want to pull this too because it's recovery. I think that you've come back because I think it was rocky in the beginning. I think you worried. You were up at night. Couldn't sleep. Having nightmares. I think this was rocky at the beginning. And people thought you weren't going to make it. They thought you weren't, but you did. Trust. 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 I think that's a very, very important thing for this relationship. Trust. No need to worry. You don't have to worry this nine of swords anymore. You don't have to worry. Huh. Success. Success. Absolutely a success. That's what's coming out. Success. Yeah. Yes. This relationship is going to make it. Also, I'm going to pull because I think this is very good for you too. Listen to your intuition. Remain positive. The last card that I'm going to pull is big happy changes. And that's what I have for you, Libra, for your love prediction reading. 